Hey everybody, James Briarton here at the Shield Museum of Natural History in Gastonia, North Carolina, where we are wrapping up extreme weather proof. More on that in just a moment, but let's go outside to the radar right now because we know we're watching some storms that are popping up on radar. Let's start with some warnings right now in the greater triangle area. We do have a couple severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, including this one that goes for another 13 minutes to the top of the four o'clock hour. Uh, and this here is a part of a greater system that does have a severe thunderstorm watch out, but we do have a severe thunderstorm warning remaining in effect until four o'clock for southeastern Granville and Franklin counties with a hazard of 60 mile per hour winds associated with this. Similar story here if you look over towards Hillsboro, and man, Hillsboro does not need any more rain. Severe thunderstorm warning until 430 for Alamance, Person, Orange, Durham counties in North Carolina. Zooming out a little bit more, you can see we do have one more warning in eastern North Carolina. It looks like it actually just expired, but we do still have lots of heavy rain and lightning associated with some of these storms as you make your way out towards Eden and Hartford. Uh, all across northeastern North Carolina, including in the Triangle, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch that goes for another six hours, so that'll take us closer to the eight, nine o'clock hour here, and it stretches back up into Virginia. The best chance of seeing severe weather will be across this portion of northeastern North Carolina today, but we are seeing other thunderstorms beginning to pop up here in the heat of the day, including this storm over Statesville, just north of the Charlotte area, and even back towards High Point and Clemens. You can see we have storms with heavy rain and lightning associated with them. Where we are here in Gaston, North Carolina, just outside of Charlotte, we don't have uh, any rain just yet, but we are watching closely a storm uh, approaching Gaffney, South Carolina in the I-85 corridor. It does have, or did have, a special weather statement associated with it, and I'm actually just going to go to the velocity here just a second. Don't see any rotation with that storm right now, but it is a pretty good example of one of those uh, pop up. So, uh, my mom and, and Frank Strait is here. Frank, you, you can come around if you want and grab his other uh, microphone. Uh, come on down, Frank. Move my backpack. Uh, let's talk about that special weather statement that's over uh, your mom and dad's right now, Frank. That's uh, right. A uh, little gusty storm there over Polk County. Uh, really over the Polk Henderson County line is uh, capable of producing some gusty winds and small hail and uh, yeah it's moving right toward Lake Adger uh, so mom and dad you ought to be watching and, and so, I hope they are <laughs> I mean I'm your son here uh, but yeah you I hope you're watching and I hope that you're paying attention to the storm that's moving your way and that you move indoors and I hope your neighbors do the same uh, in just a few moments, uh, we'll hand back things on the uh, Carolina Weather Net, which you can watch on YouTube anytime for live radar, storm cams, and real time severe weather alerts. But as you can see at the bottom of the screen, Frank and I are wrapping up the day here at the Extreme Weatherproof on location at the Shield Museum of Natural History. If you are a Patreon member, if you are a YouTube member, uh, you'll get early access to the episode we recorded on location here at the museum today. If not, no worries. It'll come your way Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Time, but uh, it was another wonderful day here at the museum, and uh, we got to speak to so many of our weather Carolina weather groupies. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, and uh, Jay here. Mm -hmm. Who else was here? Uh, Jay was here. Um, I actually, the first guy I met today is from Port Jefferson, New York, near where I used to grow up. So oh, wow. it's a real small world. Uh, Tim Pounds uh, is here. He's coming back over towards the table right now. Uh, it's out of the shot now, but do stay tuned. When you watch the full episode, we had a whole green screen set up here at the museum for kids of all ages to try. Mm -hmm. uh, your hand at being a broadcast meteorologist. So uh, we'll bring you that uh, excitement uh, coming your way real soon. Uh, so uh, if you're Carolina where the groupie and you're supporting the show uh, you'll be able to watch that episode pretty soon where we do reveal we do reveal that new way that you at home can support and engage with the Carolina weather group we've been teasing it and the reveal is in that episode so it'll come your way for free Wednesday night if not you can check it out before then but as you can see on the radar behind us and as we were showing you on the screen a few moments ago uh, we are continuing to watch a few storms and I actually do think that severe thunderstorm watch that is out for eastern North Carolina and up into Virginia does come with a tier two out of three slight risk for severe weather from the storm prediction center today two out of five two out of five what did I say you said two out of three Two out of five. <laughs> take it seriously, but don't have to take it as seriously if it's two right, out of three. Ooh, that like would Armageddon be bad. or anything. It's I'm on my third or fourth cup of coffee because uh, uh, we uh, we have 
been on our feet here all, all, all afternoon long, and uh, it's been a wonderful day, and uh, thanks again to the museum for, for having us out. Congratulations to getting through the day with only three cups of coffee. That's I think I needed five. Right. You got I'll, five cups of coffee? Although I think it was tea, and I, I don't normally drink coffee, so five, five glasses of tea instead of... Okay. That works, too. Only two of them were sweet, though. You know, i got to watch my boyish frame. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say now. Uh, but thanks for checking out this Carolina Weather Group live stream. Uh, stay weather aware if you're out and about because even with these storms that don't have warnings on them, lightning is always a possibility. Lightning is possible without a severe thunderstorm warning. It is not one of the criteria of a severe thunderstorm warning. As they've been saying all day here at the museum, severe thunderstorm warnings are for tornadoes, damaging wind, and hail. Lightning can come with any storm. Correct. So what was the saying you guys had? When thunder roars, go indoors. There you go. There you go. So uh, Frank is here. Tim is here. I'm James Briarton. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us for a few minutes on this live stream. If you're watching on YouTube right now, we're going to take you back over to the Carolina WeatherNet for continuous severe weather updates across the Carolinas. And uh, watch for our special episode on location from here at the Shield Museum to be dropping real soon.